Welcome to my video on the wild area news. It looks like Pokemon Sword and Shield got a little update with the old promoted dens for Halloween. And now we get some different special Pokemon and a special shiny chance, a very good shiny chance at a special Pokemon. Until the 2nd of November, guys, Gourgeist is going to have a 1% shiny chance, the extra large size or whatever. And you're going to be able to get that in the game. If you guys want to get a den, a promoted den very easily, you can just come here, make sure you have wishing pieces, come to just outside Hammerlock, and go to any den. You know, there's two dens over here. These are the ones I always use. And, I mean, also, Happy Halloween. It's almost there. Oh, it's the 30th. It's almost time. Hope you guys have got good plans. But over here, guys, there's two dens that I always use, which are very close together. And you just have to pop wishing pieces. You can know what these dens are. You know what the types they are by when you see them coming up. Just save it until you get a Pokemon that you expect to be in the den. So that's a rock type. That's what this den is. That is not a promoted den. And now I'm just going to go over to the den over here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing and pop another wishing piece just until... I get my promoted den. This is the easiest way to just farm them and try to get your promoted den just more easily. And then you'll be able to get your shiny Goras. This is an electric normal type that's not promoted den. So let's go over and try again. These are pretty common dens, just keep in mind. And uh, you will get one quick enough, but you will need a lot of wishing pieces. However, it's very easy to get wishing pieces now. They only cost watts, and you can buy watts in Isle of Armor very easily. That's rock fire. That's not it. Okay, so we just got our den here. This is the ghost and grass now that has spawned in the rock formation here, which is the rock den. And you can exploit this by doing the usual, uh, the invite others, the date and time. Oh, you will want to have also made sure you uh, update your wild area news in the mystery gift section just to make sure it does spawn for you guys. But here we're going, and you just can do this until you get your Gorgeist. After you've gotten your den, you might as well go offline, actually. It's probably just faster. It's a little... Yeah, we're offline, so it's just a little faster here. Let's have a look at the next day, and it's the same Pokemon. But just keep going until you get your shiny Gorgeist. And this, this is the exploit to make it shiny, guys. Just go down to home, system, date and time. This is old stuff, guys. You already know this. But there's things that are different right now about the shiny den and hunting and shiny den manipulations. We don't really need to do this anymore. One other side note, guys, all of the synesties that have spawned in here and all of the pots, they're all going to be fake, not authentic in this den, I'm afraid to say. So no farming those. That was information that was verified from a data mine of the den. But guys, if you're sick of hunting shiny Gorgeist in the dens and you think you only have a limited time, you only have until the 2nd of November, just go hell, go back to the Crown Tundra. Because we don't need it, guys. We don't need these dens. We can go to the Slippery Slope. We can go to the Dynamax Adventures. And in the Dynamax Adventures, Gorgeist also spawns with a very, very high shiny rate. 1 in 100 if you do have the shiny charm. Looking at our guide here, we're going to be able to find Gorgeists in the grass section just here, along with a lot of the other Pokemon that spawn in the den too. So you have really no problem. Now, these dens are special. They do give you a 1% chance to get the shiny Gorgeist, which is pretty good, okay? But 1% is the same. It's the same as this. It's the same as the den, although you just have to encounter grass patches on your way to the legendary. You have to go to all the grass patches. Are the ghost patches, keep in mind. The ghost ones being right here, this being the ghost one. So yeah, if you see a ghost label, they'll spawn in ghost. If you see a grass label, they'll also spawn in grass, and I'm sure you guys can find them pretty easily. There's not that many to, to spawn anyway, and there's a lot of good choices here. That's also in the dens at the moment, and that's also in the dens at the moment. That's in the So they all spawn, like, this is all the same as the dens. This is probably just a much easier way to do it. This guide, for anyone who wants to keep track of this guide, is over on my Discord in the Dynamax... Get out of this. In the Dynamax Adventure Guide guide tab up near the top literally up near the top for your convenience because crown tundra is still new and fresh so you guys can ch check it very easily you go in here and you go to the open original to get the big size and you can see all the pokemon that spawn in the dynamax adventures and shiny hunt as you wish so happy hunting guys happy halloween i hope you guys enjoy your dens if you want to use the den way or i hope you guys get your shinies other other ways adventures and such but don't forget to subscribe for more news on pokemon sword and shield and we will see you in the next video tonight new glitch tonight guys another important glitch for you guys to know about in crown tundra i'll see you for that till then bye